In this video, we will try to understand how to draw a velocity diagram in case of impulse steam turbine. So as shown over here, first we will draw a line as you can see over here. Then we will draw the blade velocity to a certain scale. From this particular point, we will draw the absolute velocity line at some nozzle angle of 20 degree as indicated over here. Now we will draw a perpendicular on the line, horizontal line which we have drawn earlier. Now join this particular point to this point. This will complete our inlet triangle in case of the impulse steam turbine. The various velocity components they are indicated over here. V1 is known as the absolute velocity of steam at inlet. It will have two components. One is known as the VW1, that is known as velocity of whirl, W H I R L, velocity of whirl, which is responsible for rotation. And another component is known as the velocity of flow, which is responsible for maintaining the flow. U is known as the blade speed or rotor speed. Alpha 1 is the nozzle angle at inlet, and beta 1 is the blade angle at inlet. VR1 is known as the relative velocity, that is the velocity between the relative velocity between V1 and U. So that you can see this is the vector component which is representing the relative velocity between V1 and U as there is a difference between these two velocities. Now let us superimpose the outlet triangle, velocity triangle on this particular diagram. Now from point C, we will draw an R of VR1. Now we will draw the outlet blade angle at suppose say 30 degree. So you can see over here. We have drawn a line of 30 degree over here indicating that the blade velocity at outlet is 30 degree and then we'll mark this particular point which will be intersecting this arc over here now we'll join this point with a and again drop a perpendicular on the horizontal line which we have drawn previously then as you can see over here, beta 2 is the blade angle at outlet which is 30 degree that we have drawn which is which was intersecting this particular arc at point E. The various other components that are shown over here. So this is the relative velocity at outlet. Now, this particular component is the absolute velocity of the steam at outlet. Again, it will have two components that is VW2 and VF2. So, this particular component is very small because it has done already a large amount of work in revolving the turbine wheel. So, as we have seen earlier, U is the blade speed, V1 is the absolute velocity of steam at inlet, VW1 is the velocity of whirl at inlet, VF1 is the velocity of flow at inlet. Then VR1 is the relative velocity at inlet and alpha1 is the nozzle angle at inlet and beta1 is the dead angle at inlet. Corresponding values for outlet are V2, VW2, VF2, VR2, alpha2 and beta2 which we have indicated over here. So in this way we can superimpose the inlet triangle, the outlet triangle on the inlet triangle and then we can calculate the various components, various components of the velocities which are required in the calculation of steam turbine. In the next video, we will try to understand how to choose the scale and then how to find out the various other components. Thank you very much for watching.